One of the most celebrated events in the world of kite flying is the Weifang International Kite Flying Competition. Weifang in East China's Shandong Province is known as the world capital of kites. Every spring, the competition attracts participants from across the globe, each showcasing their unique designs and flying skills. The roots of this aerial artistry, however, extend far back in time. Kites were formerly used by the military for measuring distances and providing information for the infantry. Today, the craft of kite making has evolved into an art form, with intricate designs and patterns reflecting centuries of tradition. Master Lu Tiezhi has been making kites for over three decades. His craftsmanship has not only won accolades but also taken him on a journey across continents. My first trip abroad was to Hawaii. I went there for a Chinese cultural festival, sharing my knowledge about this ancient craft. Through workshops and demonstrations, Master Lu has introduced countless individuals to the art of kite making. Kites originated in China and then spread around the world, adapting to local cultures along the way. Through my travels abroad, I have come to realize the increasing responsibility associated with kite making, despite it being something of a fringe area of arts and crafts. Nevertheless, kites serve as a meaningful bridge for cultural exchange between China and other nations. As we see the colorful kites dancing in the springtime breeze, it's evident this age-old tradition is not just about flying pretty objects in the sky. It's about preserving cultural heritage, fostering unity, and spreading joy across borders.